Hello there, Dr. Mintz here. This is a quick case uh, I'm going to show you that I saw last night on call. 64-year-old male came in with seizures. And I'll give you a quick overview here to look it over. And now we'll focus on the abnormality. You see something wrong in the right frontal lobe. And actually there are two lesions there. Both are kind of cystic and they have a large amount of edema. So two right next to one another, I would generally think that this could be metastases. So the first thing we do, and what does this have to do with the thoracic course? The first thing we do, and most doctors will do, when there is a finding of multiple brain lesions in an adult, see if they're smokers and whether they, and if they are particularly get a chest radiograph. Well a chest radiograph was done and it was abnormal and so they went to CT and here is let's see that's the chest CT actually I give you a where's the localizer here we go this will give you a little idea of what the chest radiograph looked like. Okay, so you can see this area of increased attenuation in the right upper lobe here. And let's look at the uh, CT then. And we'll follow that. And here you can see there's a large mass in the... Let's see, that was actually the posterior segment of the right upper lobe. And importantly, you can see that it extends along into the mediastinum here a little bit. So here's the superior vena cava and right main stem bronchus. So these are worthwhile points that the mass extends, not just the big mass up here, but the fact that it's extending back here, basically up to the esophagus. Here you see the NG tube in the esophagus. And it's extending here, <clears throat> anterior to the right main stem bronchus. And you can see the right upper lobe bronchus is quite narrowed by this mass. So those are the important findings. And I guess the big point was don't smoke. And in terms of our course and daily practice of radiology, when you see multiple brain lesions, even one that doesn't look like a primary tumor, but that can be hard to tell, but you see a couple brain lesions and someone comes in, especially 50s, 60s, 70s, and has a seizure suddenly, you think, get a chest x-ray. And I can't tell you how many times I have found, unfortunately, that that patient who came in with a seizure and had a couple lesions in the brain on CT ended up having lung cancer. And uh, that's it.